Alright lads and welcome back to another video and obviously Rangers have played a game recently so it's just going to be the transfer talk and all that that we're talking about as you can see by the title. Also follow me on Twitter at cskelling0619, it's on screen and now it's in the link in the description. So I just want to see if you guys, if I were to put out a tweet about say Al McGregor signing, you just could comment what you think of it and it's similar to what CJ Novo does, just read out what you guys think. If that's something that would interest you then follow me on Twitter and let me know about that and let me know what you thought about the signings and all these rumours so yeah I mean Al McGregor signing which is Al McGregor and Scott Arthur probably the main title of the video Um, yeah obviously that was yesterday it's yesterday's news we want tomorrow's news yesterday if you get that in anyway so yeah Al McGregor signed on a two year deal Arfield on a four year deal and yeah so there's more transfer targets obviously Gerard's not Still got 15 days to the job till he actually goes into the job. Uh, there's more transfer targets, but I'll talk about the ones that we have signed who do look promising. So obviously, Al McGregor coming back, that is a great signing, I think, because, I mean, as much as I do like Wes Fodringham, uh, I mean, Al McGregor is, a, is that wee bit better than him. I mean, everything I'm saying, you probably already know if you follow Rangers on social media and in the news, but I'm just recapping it, so... Obviously as well, Scott Arfield signed on a four year deal from Burnley. Obviously Burnley had a really good season this season, getting into Europe in seventh place or at least the, the qualifying stages, which I mean for them is amazing. Four or five years ago they would never have thought that. So I Scott Arfield signing, the, the Canadian yeah, the Canadian. If he was decent with Falkirk when he left to Burnley and he's been playing in the Premier League, he's gonna come back a much better player in I mean, if we think Murphy came back from Brighton, who wasn't playing at all at Brighton, and he has made an impact, Scott Arfield, who has been playing more than what Jamie Murphy was playing at Brighton, Scott Arfield should be even more of an impact. So, yeah, that's another great signing. And then we've also got... So, not, they're the only two confirmed signings, but there are talks of, in Turkey, that we've put in a 4.5 million euro bid for Martin Skirtle. So... That would be interesting, obviously. Our defence has been a big problem the past two or three seasons. Martin Skirtle, I'm sure, still got it. He would definitely toughen it up and like, strengthen it a lot. And we've also got Jermaine Defoe on the transfer targets. Don't know how much truth about it there is, but Jermaine Defoe, he's a class striker. He showed it in the Premier League this season. at the still age of 35, 34, something like that. So, yeah he would be a really good player he would be banging them in and then also Lucas Lever, who I think he's with Lazio I mean Lazio are, Lazio are a decent Italian side got into the Euro, Europa League they were in the Europa League this season got to the quarterfinals so yeah, that Lucas Lever, once again I don't know how much truth there is behind that but I think that would be another great signing but centre mid as a position we are relatively strong with if everyone stays fit but when you've got Ross Ryan Jack and John Rossiter, there's not a lot of chance that they are all going to stay fit. So, I mean, if if Ross McCrory, Ryan Jack and Ro uh, Jordan Rossiter did all stay fit, then that would be a good, solid middle three for the for midfield. But the chance that they're going to stay fit all season is very unlikely. So, Lucas Leiva coming in, defensive midfielder, he would be a good signing as long as he's still got it than from what he had at Liverpool. And... Yeah, that's all the transfer rumours I've really seen. Um, there are, is that thing with Rangers going to court with, with the SFA. I don't really um, get it, <laughs> all that part. I, 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 I didn't really understand why they're going to court. Yeah, so I genuinely have no idea. I just know about the transfer rumours and targets and the signings. So yeah, um, this was just a kind of recap video. I, I would, if more news comes up, I'll try and get on it straight away, but I was out last night, I was I had a football match, so that's why I couldn't cover Alan McGregor straight away, Scott Arfield, I couldn't do that straight away, but I'll try and do the future signings and rumours and all that, as soon as they get released, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, so leave a like and I'll see you next time, bye.